The breast makes milk. In this short video, we will cover breast changes in pregnancy, the hormones that help with the making and delivering of milk, stages of milk production, and milk supply. During adolescence, the breasts develop. They continue to develop in pregnancy, laying down milk-making tissue, and in the last months of pregnancy, there's colostrum in the breast. Most mothers will notice some breast growth during pregnancy. Inside the breasts are cells that make milk and ducts, which bring the milk to the nipple. The nipple is only an opening, like a collection of straws. The areola is the dark part around the nipple. The baby suckles on the areola while breastfeeding. When the baby suckles at the breast, there are hormones which are released in the mother's brain which communicates with the breast and are responsible for milk being made and delivered to the baby. These hormones are prolactin and oxytocin. The baby suckles and prolactin is released in mom's brain which communicates with the receptors in mom's breasts and tells the breast to make milk. The baby continues to suckle and oxytocin is released in the brain and this tells the breast to deliver the milk and little muscles around the milk making sacs contract. The ducts dilate and the baby receives larger volumes of milk at that time. This is called the milk ejection reflex. This cycle happens a number of times throughout the feed. It is important to note that there are times in the feed when the baby is suckling and not drinking very much and times when the baby is drinking after the milk ejection reflex. It is important to watch your baby to see when he is suckling and when he is drinking. It is very important for the baby to suckle in a manner which will have the brain release the hormones and communicate with the breast. This suckle needs to be on the areola, the dark area around the nipple and not on the nipple. Mom will be more comfortable and the baby will receive more milk if the baby is suckling on the areola. The suckle is what releases hormones in the brain and has the breast make and deliver milk. For that reason, the suckle should be protected. Babies should not be given soothers or bottles, as the way they suck on these is different and may change the way the baby suckles at the breast. The baby needs to have a very wide mouth with a good mouthful of breast. The nipple is at the back of the baby's mouth where it is safe from harm. As you can see here, little milk comes out when the nipple is squeezed. However, when the areola is compressed, the milk flows. This is why it is important for the baby to suck on the areola and not the nipple. The breast makes milk in stages after the birth of the baby. The first stage is the colostrum phase. Colostrum is a thicker yellow milk, which is very important for newborns, as it is very high in cells which fight germs. It also works as a laxative and gets the baby's stomach working. It comes in small quantities, which is what is needed, as the baby's tummy is very small at birth. Gradually over the first weeks, the milk will transition from colostrum to mature milk. The milk usually comes in around day two to five, and at that time, there is an increase in the volume. As well, this milk will have more fat, carbohydrates, and calories. It may take a couple of weeks for your milk to change from colostrum, which is yellowish in color, to mature milk, which appears bluish in color. The volumes increase every day over the first weeks, as does the size of the baby's stomach. Once your mature milk is in, the milk changes throughout the feed. The milk starts off as foremilk, which is watery, and quenches the baby's thirst. As the baby feeds, the fat content in the milk increases, and this is called hind milk. So as the breast becomes less full, the fat content in the milk is higher. This is why it is important for the baby to be able to feed on the breast as long as she needs so that she is able to get the fatty milk which will help her stay satisfied between feedings and gain weight. Most mothers can and will make enough milk for their baby and this includes mothers of twins and multiples. The key to making enough milk. Breastfeed soon after birth. Feed often, eight or more times a day. Ensure the baby has a good suckle. Feed your baby as often and for as long as needed until he is satisfied. If you are concerned and would like to increase your milk supply, make sure your baby has an effective latch and see a lactation specialist if needed. Use additional methods of milk removal after breastfeeding, such as pumping and or hand expression to increase milk removal. Remember the more milk removed, the more milk made.